Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today we are going to talk about one more solution for string anagrams. In the last session, we have already seen that it is very simple by using uh, uh, equals and uh, sorting. We were using it. Today we will do something with respect to maybe uh, we can use some string manipulations and we can do some uh, string buffer also or a string builder also we can use it. Okay. So what exactly I'm saying that let's see, for example, there are two strings. Uh, which are anagram so let's see act and uh, string s2 is equal to cat okay they both are anagram so so it should return true in that case so what exactly i'm going to do that first i'm going to remove the white spaces and uh, then i'm going to maintain let's see one s3 which is converting this s1 into two character array so that i'll be doing it okay so s3 is pointing to this array it is uh, like that so it will be a c and t and then uh, let's start a for loop here and this for every character c in s3 what exactly i'm going to do that first i'm going to calculate one index which is equal to and i'll do one thing i'll maintain one string builder also so this is string builder okay let's see sb which is pointing to s2 so with the help of s2 i'll create one string builder and uh, i'll do one thing from this sb dot i'll be using one method this index of method of uh, c character i'll tell you the logic what exactly i'm trying to say and then i'll put one condition that if this index is not equal to minus one it means the character that we are looking for let's see we started from this particular a if it is available in this particular sb so what is the value of sb the value of sb is uh, a cat over here because it is created from s2 only so i'll check if it is available this a is available in sb it means it is not giving you minus one it means it is available then do what then what you do is that uh, from this sb which is equal to now sb dot you can use one method that is called delete character at method so I'll write delete uh, character at from this particular index. Okay, from this index, you delete that character. So what will happen that uh, first time we found this A and we found, okay, yeah, this A is available. So this condition is satisfied. So what is the value of SB now? The value of SB, it means delete the character. So characters index is equal to what? The index of A in this, it is equal to one actually. See, this is zero, this is one, and this is two. So in SB, the index we found one and from sb you delete that so what will happen initial sb what cat so index one means a will be removed right so what is the value of sb now the value of sb is equal to ct then again if it is not happening then what you do then you return else false i mean go to else and return false from here from the function and see this logic so a very easy and important and tricky interview question somewhere but it's easy one guys so now the next sb value is ct so again the for loop will start what is the next value of c the next value of c is uh, c over here it will check that okay the c is available in this particular sb or not so right right now the current value of sb is c yes it's available then delete it it means it will be deleted okay and then again it will check the t is there or not and then again delete the character at index for the t so t will be removed so if everything is removed then I'll maintain in this particular if condition, I can do one thing that, okay, return true over here. It means this is an anagram string, otherwise return false. So this will be the logic that I'll be writing it. So I'm not using any inbuilt function of uh, uh, sort or equals. You can use this uh, delete at character at, or we can do one thing that we can do some string manipulations. Also, we can use one substring also. I can use it. So we will solve with substring as well as deleted character. At. If you really want to, uh, don't want to use this particular inbuilt function also you can use the substring once again manipulatively you can do that but anyways this is also an inbuilt function we have to use it so let's see how to use this so i'll be calling this particular function by passing two arguments and uh, first of all i have to remove the white spaces so i'll do one thing that i simply write that let's see s3 which is equal to from s1 uh, replace all i'll be using it and remove all the white spaces so i'll be writing backslash s and replacement with nothing same thing i'll be doing for s2 also and storing in s4 okay so first i have to remove the white spaces and uh, i'll do one thing i'll maintain one boolean also so let's see boolean flag 
which is initially equal to true okay and then i'll immediately put a condition that if the length of both the strings are not matched then you make this a status uh, flag equal to false and immediately return and then this uh, s3 dot a length if it is not equal to that s4 dot length obviously if it is not equal the length is not equal then there is there is no point to uh, proceed further and i simply say that okay fine that uh, in that case you immediately return false like this okay no need to proceed further and if it is not happening then i'll write one else over here in this particular else first of all what exactly i'm going to do that uh, for this first s3 <coughs> right that we have created i'm going to convert that into two character array and then i'm going to store in the character array let's see this is my uh, character array c1 which is equal to s3 dot two character array okay and then i'm going to maintain one string builder class also for example a string builder sb is equal to new string builder and i'm passing that uh, s4 over here okay for the second string and then in this particular we will try to iterate this array so i'll write a for loop and for every character c okay in c1 array then what do you want i want that calculate the index so i'll simply get my index which is equal to index inside this sb so i'll be using this method sb dot index of method i'll be using it and uh, index of uh, what the index of each and every character over here okay but this index of method will give you error because this is only applicable for a string and this is c is character i'll do one thing let's append with c only with a blank string like that because uh, index of method will work only in this case for a string and if i'm passing character that won't work okay so if index of is available in i mean it will return some value the index of that particular uh, character otherwise it will return minus 1 so i'll put a condition that if uh, index is uh, not equal to minus 1 in that case what do you want then in that case from this sb i'll be using see this method delete add character delete character add from which index whatever the uh, from that particular index you just delete that character so keep removing the values from the sb like first it will remove a then it will remove c then it will remove t like that okay and then just keep doing that if the character is uh, not available it means it is uh, if it is giving you a minus 1 or something then you come inside the else part and then you immediately return false you or you simple break the loop like that so return false means you don't need to proceed further and that's it so i think this logic is ready let's try to run it it is really working or not so i'll do one thing i'll start calling this uh, method so the method name is is anagram and um, i'll just keep printing it if it is printing true it means uh, both the strings are anagram so i'll write first act and uh, i'll be writing for cat now what we can do one thing we can improve it here that uh, if it is coming inside the else it means index is equal to minus 1 in that case instead of returning false i'll do one thing i'll change the flag value i'll make this flag is equal to false and then immediately i'll try to break the loop because uh, there is no point to proceed further because that particular uh, value is not available inside the sb sb is what okay for s4 it means that in the second string the value is not available it means you just break the loop there is no point to proceed further okay and uh, once this else is a uh, done that uh, return not condition return the flag that's it okay so this logic looks good to me and let's see it is working or not so i'm running it and let's see the console output on the console it's saying yeah it's true so it means this is the anagram these are the anagram strings and i'll do one thing let me just add with some more so let's say i'm putting one more extra character t and let's see it is working or not so in this case it is giving you false because length is not same so immediately over here immediately it will say okay fine that return false because length is not same and they both are not anagram strings okay now i'll do one thing i'll just check see one thing we missed actually in this program what if i'm passing cat we are not handling the lower case part see in this case both are anagrams but uh, it will give you false only but ideally it should give you true so only one thing that we will change it over here after replacing it we just convert that into lower case as well so just simply write to lower case as well okay and uh, let's run it again so now you can see that it's started giving you true over here 
perfect now if you remember that last time we covered uh, these number of test cases i'll just copy all these test cases and let's see what exactly the output so i don't need to uh, okay write it again so let's run it and let's see so here almost everything is working fine you can see that okay for listen listen this is fine lives is also fine toss and shot it is giving you false over here and then joy and en enjoy also which is false because they both are not anagram string and then for rest of the things it will give you true because listen silent and with some spaces with single character also which is absolutely fine so this is actually perfectly working fine it over here what extra condition that you can do it guys that uh, uh, first of all length is not equal that also you can do that okay so let's write s3 uh, dot uh, length which is uh, equal to if it is equal to one and 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 i'm writing that uh, s4 dot length which is also equal to equal to one in this case in this case because what exactly i'm saying that uh, if i'm passing only t both are anagrams so you don't need to come inside this entire logic so what you can do is that if uh, the length is equal to equal to one then you immediately return true from here i'll put one condition over here like this and then this s3 equal to s4 then i want then you return true and then i'll put an an else over here as well then you return false because i don't want to come inside my inside this logic unnecessary this particular logic unnecessary for the single character string so i'm just trying to save some time here right that's it okay so let's see it is uh, working or not so i'll do one thing i'll put a debugger at line number 12 and let's debug as job application so here you can see that s3 length is equal to okay i'll do one thing let me just uh, put a comment over here for all these guys we will just execute the last one we just try to optimize this solution okay so s3 is saying yeah both length is a t and t so the length will be one the condition will be satisfied and uh, here if you see that the both are not equal in that case so both are not equals immediately return false so yeah that's a good option immediately return false and uh, see the program is over so no need to proceed further in that thing okay and uh, if i'm passing let's see capital t condition is match debug as java application so here again the length is equal to one condition is satisfied both are equal return true immediately so for single string character i think uh, that is a good thing that we okay we have to handle it in advance you don't need to convert that into a character array and start a for loop unnecessary for that okay like this so perfect so you uncomment it and make sure that okay all other test cases are not getting impacted for sure so which is like uh, now absolutely working fine this is true for second is false then again true and then two false we will be getting for these two guys toss and joy and then rest of the things are true which is absolutely working fine so this logic i think according to me is perfectly fine over here like that okay i hope this is clear so it's always good to handle certain conditions like that if both are not you know some null check also you can add it if length is not equal then also those things also you can check it all these things i think it's very much important to do that in fact you can write one more condition immediately put a condition before in fact converting that into lower case or upper case see i'll show you you have to put a null check also so if i'm writing that okay if s1 is equal to equal to null and then i'll put one or condition that and then s2 also is equal to equal to immediately what you do is you simply say return false okay because if i'm passing either of them is null then there is no point to uh, check the anagram numbers or not in that case and null null is not the anagram strength right null is not a exact value so if for example if i'm passing null over here like this so what will happen in that case if i'm putting a debugger at line number seven then let's run it and see this and here you will see that s1 is null and s2 is uh, t either of them is null no need to proceed further and simple return false from here and the program is over back to line number 64 perfect so like this i think you have to handle it same thing if i'm passing null null also so that's a good option that you are passing a null check also you are handling it so let's run it again and let's see so in this case it's absolutely giving in both the cases it's giving you false right null null we should not consider that okay 
So I think uh, this logic is perfectly fine. We have put some null check also, length check also we have done it and uh, length with the uh, different strings also, different single character string also we have handled it. If we have multiple characters, then, then only it will come inside the else part. Perfect. So I think, or if you really want to improve guys that you can do that. You can do some string manipulations also. Instead of uh, this sb dot delete character at, you can maintain one uh, sub string also, you can do that. That is your assignment. You just try to do with the, uh, with the sub string. Just try to remove the character from the second uh, string using the string manipulation using sub string method. Okay, so I think that's all for this particular video. I hope you understood the problem statement and what exactly we're trying to uh, achieve here. This is what you have to explain at a time of interview. And if you're giving any hacker round or lead code round also, make sure that, okay, you are solving with all the different uh, checks over here. Thank you so much, guys. I'll come up with a new problem in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.